Hi and welcome to the fourth Functional Fighter podcast. Um, today we've come on location at the beach <laughs> and um, here with Amanda um, as hey. usual, our, our functional anatomy expert. And then we're also here with La- uh, Lanshana Green. Um, she's a <laughs> MMA fighter, uh, she was a Muay Thai champion and she was on the Ultimate Fighter Contender. So welcome, Lanchana. Hello, thank you. Exciting cool. having you, our first guest speaker. Yeah. Yay. So today we're going to talk to you a little bit yep. about what's been happening and what you're up to and what yeah. you've done in the past and just ask you some questions regarding your fight, um, your fights in the past and obviously uh, your training and things like that. So mm-hmm. we'll get into that, shall we? What's coming up? Cool. Exciting yeah. things. And I, and I don't know anything about you really, <laughs> so it'll be like, because uh, you know, yeah. I know it yeah. so well, so... Good to have someone who doesn't really know much yeah. about you because I can ask the questions. You can. Yeah. The do basic wanna... questions. Well, okay. Do you want to um, ask the first question? Oh, yes. Okay, so maybe maybe you could just start off. There's, there'll, there'll be people out there, especially like Perth peeps, who uh, don't might not even know where you're from. Yeah, and yeah. So maybe, you know, where you're from and where you train and, yep. and maybe just a wee bit about that would be a good start, I think. Yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, so I'm from Darlington in the northeast of England. I started training about 12 or 13 years ago now. I started in Muay Thai first. That's how I got to, to know Steve, who trained at Darlington Boxing Martial Arts, Martial Arts Academy <laughs> with uh, Paul Hamilton. And oh, so you trained at the same place? Yeah, but it was a bit, did, of, a a bit of a layover. Yeah, so like, yeah. I'd trained and I was fighting Steve's and then I left. Than me, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then I left yeah. the gym because I went to Australia. Right. And then she was training. Yeah, training. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So how did you but, guys meet then? Well, uh, through through, through the gym. I'd yeah. always um, uh, gone to watch the the fight shows. Oh, yeah. Right. So, so I was, I was close him, with Paul. Yeah. yeah. So I'd yeah, seen yeah. I'd seen Steve fight um, on our local shows in Darlington. Yeah, um, right. But I didn't actually start properly training until I was about fifteen. So um, oh, okay. Yeah. So then I started that. Had. Um, a few Muay Thai fights over the course of like eight years or so. Mm. Then I started Jiu Jitsu, and then about three years ago, I had my first MMA fight. And then I went on to Tough last year. I went and tried out for the Ultimate Fighter season 23. Mm. Uh, made it to the semi finals. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, I lost that fight, um, but. It was such a great, great learning curve and yeah, experience for me, and um, it's opened up a lot of doors. Mm. Um, I've managed to sort of train in Brazil, I've been to America, mm. and now I'm, I'm in Australia yeah. um, on the space of like just over a year. So it's oh, it's wow. been an amazing time. So you haven't been since. home that much, have you? <laughs> no, I haven't actually mm. been home very much. Yeah, uh, yeah. My what friend... was it like training in Brazil? That must have been. Yeah, Brazil was was really intense. I only went for a month. Yeah. Um, I actually went because I was part of Claudia Gadella's team on the on the show, and uh, she brought in a bunch of coaches, and they were absolutely brilliant. And there was one guy in particular called Rafael who I got on quite well with, and uh, he invited me uh, over to go and train at uh, Novo Niau in Rio. So um, yeah, I went over for a month. It was really really intense Mm -hmm. um but there's a lot of small people there for me to train with oh Um, is that a problem that you find yeah yeah, so yeah so i fight at straw weight um there's not in the uk there's there's not an awful lot of females doing it i could probably tell you every straw weight female fight there is in the uk so um the majority of my training partners um are sort of uh, smaller smaller lightweight guys um and yeah, so I went to Brazil. It was, it was really good. Um, came home for a few months. Went over to America for six months. Oh, six months. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so she's at uh, Jackson's, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I went to I went to King's MMA first. I was there for about three months. Um, then went over to Jackson's for about three months also, and um, yeah, really really enjoyed my time over there. Yeah. Um, Jackson's in particular, they had a really strong female oh, pro solid team yeah. yeah so um it was great uh to train with with females i've never yeah. i've never trained with that many girls yeah. before um like even i was staying in the dorms and two of my roommates were pro 
straw weight fighters and it just so happened that we all managed to be there at the same time yeah. which which worked out really yeah. really well and we got on and we all sort yeah. of brought each other on so it was, yeah. it was really good it's cool yeah that would have made it um you know more enjoyable having people that because you, you would make friends you could yeah. go out with each other yeah see a wee bit because it's not all about training yeah exactly much, you know. that was the thing with there wasn't much around there you were saying before yeah oh really so yeah. It, in albuquerque it's it's uh the the gym itself is quite a spartan lifestyle so you live mm. if you're living in the dorms you live above the gym so yeah, right. you literally yeah. wake up eat your breakfast mm. go downstairs train uh, go yeah. upstairs shower eat go back downstairs train mm. and that's that's your, your routine basically yeah, right. um but on the weekend we would make a habit of uh going out because there's beautiful mountains um around and there was like uh, things to go and see and do mm. um but you just have to kind of head out of out, out of the, yeah, right. the town area yeah. um but it, it was it was beautiful we made a habit of like each weekend um, on the Sunday we had a day off from training yeah. so each Sunday we would go out and, and explore a little yeah. bit and yeah. um, just get that little break from yeah. being in the gym all the time so yeah you'd need that just yeah. mentally yeah. yeah yeah it was good though because it was just it was um, it's like living the life of a professional athlete mm-hmm. for, yeah. for a few months you know yeah. I, I didn't have um, any other responsibilities other than train yeah, that's it. Training is train and yeah. every day. Yeah, um, and yeah, I really enjoyed it, and I, and I and I and I got a lot a lot better as well. Yeah. Um, just having that sole focus of improving every single yeah. day, no other like uh, distractions or yeah. responsibilities. Um, so actually, I've got a a gym back at home, um, mm. and uh, I run classes from there. I run PTs and. Mm. Um, as, as much as I love my job, mm. um, it was so nice just, just training yeah. all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. always good to go yeah. abroad and yeah. you do it for short stints like Thailand or something like that. Mm. All yeah. you've got to worry about is training, yeah. relaxing, yeah. training. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. yeah I think um, it doesn't matter how much you love your job, if yeah. you can get some time to yourself to work on yeah. yourself, yeah. whether it's training or uh-huh. uh, you know anything, could be learning some other new skill yeah, that's yeah. more cognitive, whatever. Um, you know, that's really what helps you stay, stay motivated and enthusiastic yeah. in your job. It's yeah. like a, just a refresher, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's well, that's good. interesting to know what you do at home then. So you've got your own yeah. gym there and you've, you've got your, is it a um, mixed martial arts gym? Is it? Yes. Yeah. So uh, back home, it's a place called The Lab. It's in my hometown, Darlington. Um, I run it with Martin Wilby, who's also my coach as well. Yeah. And we offer... MMA classes, jiu-jitsu, uh, kids classes, and then like fitness classes too. Mm. So it's quite a small gym, but it's um, it's got a real strong community vibe about oh, it, that's and good. Uh, yeah. you know everyone comes down and, and just enjoys training. Yeah, uh, has a good session, yeah. leaves, and you know yeah. everyone feels good, and yeah. um, it's starting to grow. Yeah. Like uh, a bit more of a competition team as well. Um, we've got a few guys who compete in jiu-jitsu and. Um, and a few amateur fighters coming through, so yeah, yeah it's 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 a uh, it's a really cool gym. Um, I reckon that's half the half of a gym is that you know obviously you want skilled trainers, which you are. I can vouch for that, and she'd kick my ass this morning <laughs> and this morning at six a.m. class. But you know you want good trainers, but it's also about atmosphere. You know, yeah. like having that yeah. community. Yeah. Everyone's just like you feel good vibe. Yes. It really motivates everyone. It keeps people going back for more. Yeah. You know, whether they're fighters or just someone like me doing it for fitness, it's um, yeah. you know that. Being a smaller gym, it's good as well because everyone knows yeah. each other. Yeah, and, exactly. yeah, and everyone yeah. gets along. So there's a social yeah. aspect as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I found the same when I've come to like Mac One. Like it, everyone just gets along with each other, and yeah. I. Um, Everyone wants to do, be happy. Yeah, there. exactly. You come there, you just um, want to be happy and yeah. work your ass off, and yeah, uh, and just everybody's exactly. just so friendly. That's what actually it is. made me go back. The ne- you know, after trying it for the first time, made uh-huh. me go back the next time, and then the next time because everyone was just so. I, I didn't. If I was shit, it didn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, you know, it's not as if I was surrounded by. Like you're surrounded by talent, but no one has this big attitude and yeah. arrogance that yeah. it makes you feel shit yeah, about being shit. You know? yeah, so it can yeah. be quite intimidating. It's a fight club. 
like all these terms the fight clubs yeah. Are, yeah. you think about the like, fight clubs in the movie and you, mm. and you go oh yeah. god what's it going to be like when yeah. I get there yeah. I was and you so just realise everyone's just really time. cool and, yeah yeah, yeah. I was so, so nervous the first time I've been back. Yeah. Never done, like, ballet was my, oh, really? what I'd done, you know, for yeah. fitness. So I'd never done anything like that before, apart from a few scuffy fights maybe when I was, <laughs> when I was in my younger years in clubs. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, you know, I'd never done anything like that before. And I was yeah. sort of in my 40s thought, oh, my God, I'm so unfit. And I have no idea what's going on. But Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's a plane. This is like the, the natural environment of Australia. Yeah. Planes, you've got the, the sounds of waves behind mm-hmm. us. We're surrounded yeah. by beach, shrub, and yeah. lots of sand. <laughs> so, so hopefully you can hear us. Um, yeah. Yep. First time doing it outside, so try it out. Yeah, we just thought we'd have something a little bit fresh and sort of a bit Aussie-like. Yeah. And this is the beach where I go. It's, it's, called, it's called City Beach in Perth. So, uh, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> or my secret location, yeah. <laughs> my secret beach location. Pretty sure there's lots of other Perth people that know about City yeah, Beach. Yeah. beach. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about a little bit about um, what you do on a weekly basis, training, and how you break it down. Like, when you, if you do your boxing, are you, are you striking, are you, are you conditioning, and things like that. Yeah. Um, so. My week, I have like a, a routine I kind of like to stick to. I usually like to train at 10 a.m. on the morning. Um, oh, do you? Back home. 10 a.m. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I always so. find it interesting when people like to train. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I find it really interesting. Oh, she doesn't like 6 a.m. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love six a.m. I got here. I was like, yeah. what is this time of morning? <laughs> cruel, class here, yeah. cruel. And then yeah. you got 6 a.m. class. She goes, what? <laughs> In like, the morning? What? But yeah, she goes, I can't tell if you're joking or not. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, like shocked. That's my choice. Even on a Sunday morning, it's yeah. when I train. Oh, wow. Right? Sometimes even earlier, like 5 a.m. if it's light enough. And 5 a.m., it still feels like night time to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... It pretty much is at the moment. Like yeah. winter, it's dark. Oh, and I just use a little light. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm like a complete loser, you I'm pretty sure. I'm like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty and the only no, one on it's the street. It's dedicated. At that time. <laughs> That's what it is. It's just I'm a morning person. Yeah. yeah. Call me at 9 p.m. Yeah. and I'm like half, you know. Oh, well, that's the thing. The, the reason I train at 10 is because um, I'm like teaching uh, oh, on a right. night time or I'm yeah. training till maybe it's 8 39, get finished 9 30, get yeah. home, have my food like 10 o'clock at night. So yeah. um, I kind of like to be in bed by 10 yeah, and yeah. then um, and then uh, train 10 o'clock the next morning but being in bed by 10 is good it's yeah, supposed to be the thing. best for you but yeah. to, to get to bed by 10pm yeah you get the best quality sleep See? I've never experienced it myself <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's good <laughs> you've heard I can vouch for it yeah. oh, it is there's a lot of studies that have looked yeah. at sleep quality what, of sleep right. and what does the study say that you get much better quality of sleep when you look at the different sleep cycles and yeah. you're going through so your slow wave hours and fast wave sleep. sleep. Uh, optimum hours is between six to nine hours. Yeah. yeah. You know, that we try to get, you know, seven or eight yeah. hours sleep every night is, yeah. uh, you know, shown to be the best. But as you get older, you require less sleep because you spend less time in the rapid eye movement sleep. Yeah. That's why you dream, like you, you dream during that rapid eye movement yeah. component rapid of sleep. Eye rapid eye. <laughs> <laughs> I like, like to give people visuals, and uh, and so you, that's when you dream during that, and that's why you dream less when you're older. Yeah. Because you spend less time in that dreaming component of sleep. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Interesting. So yes, you yeah. like to train at ten. Yeah, yeah. I train at ten. Um, I do a lot of drilling um, and pad work uh, with. Will back home, um, and we've kind of just tried to replicate that here. Um, so Steve's been helping me get ready for my upcoming fight, and um, yeah, we've done done a lot of pad work, uh, a lot of drills. I do a lot of specific drills. Um, you know, things things I want to work on. Mm. Um, I love jujitsu, so we train jujitsu. Uh, I love wrestling, so I like to train wrestling too. Um, and strength and conditioning as well. Um, so your background is strength and conditioning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, really? Yeah. So I did a, I did 
fashion and art and design all oh, the way yeah. through school, all the oh, way through really? college. Yeah. I went and did, I started a degree in, in fashion enterprise and Ooh. I got a year in and I was like, man, I just want to be at the gym. Mm, yeah. God, I, ugh, I've got a fight coming up. I don't, I don't want to be like here, yeah. like yeah. drawing and stuff. And, yeah, yeah. And it wasn't until you I was, something yeah, else, exactly. Yeah. I was, I was just going to keep continuing with it and then. I must have been whinging about it one day. Um, mm. I was a receptionist and, and uh, my work colleague, she was like, why are you going there again? <laughs> and I was like, why am I going back there? <laughs> like, why am I even doing this? Yeah. Um, and there and then I was like, came off that course. Yeah. I was like, what do I enjoy doing? Training. Okay, let's do a degree in, uh, the, the, because I joined on late, there was one on sport and exercise science. Oh yeah. Coach, coaching science. Yeah. So I enrolled on that and um, and I got into the course. Mm. I found it so difficult at the beginning because I'd yeah. never learned anything about anatomy, yeah. biology, yeah. Um, like biomechanics or anything. Yeah. I was like, holy shit, what oh, have I, I done? I was around there. But, it could have helped you. Yeah. It would have been your life. It would have been a private tutor. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been fun. Oh, you could have like, taught me how to kick. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we could have totally done that. Um, but I really, really enjoyed it. Like, I absolutely loved uni. Mm. Um, yeah. And through... Through university, I met. Um, I needed a work placement, yeah. and I really enjoyed doing the strength and conditioning module. So mm. um, Barry Gibson was the the he is the owner of Grapple Fit in Sunderland, which is about 30, 40 minutes away from where I live. Oh yeah. And yeah, I went to do a. Well, it was actually Neil. Uh, yeah. So Steve's brother Neil oh. and and Will yeah. uh, were training with him, and they were like, "You should see if he." Up for like a placement, yeah. So I went along, and um, he just never ever got rid of me ever since, <laughs> yeah. So, Sunderland's a cool place, but good uni. <laughs> Is that where you went? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I even know they that? had a uni, <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. it's not the most prestigious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uni is a uni, so exactly. be proud, yes, yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, so yeah, so that's how I got into mm. the conditioning. and um, I've just made it part of my, my routine. Um, when, when you were at uni, oh, so you started doing like Muay Thai when you were 15. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. Um, so you were already sort of do, training that yes. way when you, the yeah. uni thing, I'm yeah, trying to yeah. put it into. So from what you yeah. said to me, it was um, obviously doing all the Thai boxing. Yeah. And then you got offered MMA fight, but you hadn't been really done much groundwork. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'd been doing Muay Thai. Um, I was still an active uh, fighter under Paul Hamilton. And my partner at the time, Will, was uh, uh, he showed me like some jujitsu, so I started mm-hmm. doing a little bit of jujitsu, and um, so I was still a, a white belt at the time. And um, a, a girl called Michelle Nicolini, um, if you don't know her, she's a Brazilian jujitsu eight-time world champion, um, black belt. Mm-hmm. Uh, this girl from Brazil. She was doing seminars in, in, in the northeast of England and she was looking for an MMA fight. So I was like, oh, <laughs> I'll take that fight. Yeah. Um, so basically, I had 10 weeks uh, to prepare for to this. Get your yeah. To get your black belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to prepare for this MMA fight. And wow, that that's basically that how, was... how I got started. Mm. Yeah. Um, how did that fight go? Oh, sh- well, uh, uh, not very well. Um, I got in there and everything just kind of went to shit. She uh, yeah. she was choking me for about a minute and a half um, to the point the ref's checking my arm and, and oh, the, really? the, she's looking up at the ref like, okay. you know, it's, she's... It's over. Yeah. Um, and I managed to... Well, I managed to get out, but I think she just, you know give me the space to yeah. to, to transition yeah. And, um, yeah. and then she got me an armbar uh, yeah. so it was it was a short fight but it was um, it was definitely an experience and um, it kick started my MMA career really mm. yeah. um, but uh, then kind of like whole whole two years went by um, hadn't had any fights I was like I really need to go work on some jiu-jitsu yeah. so I went and did a yeah, ton right. of jiu-jitsu competitions um Worked my way up to my, my blue belt in jiu-jitsu mm. and then I applied for Tough. Um, got on that show, had three fights, um, so now I've had four pro MMA fights yeah, and um, hopefully, it, well, yeah, I've got another one in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah. 
that's uh, going for the strawweight title. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I'm fighting in Sunderland on Made for the Cage for the strawweight title. I'm fighting against a girl called Bryony Tyrell. Tyrell, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, she's a, she's a really good, strong fighter from the UK also. So it should be an interesting interesting fight. Mm. Looking forward to it. That will be a that? couple away. Yes, yeah, it's the second of September, so oh. it's two weeks tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Not long. Yeah. So you've been training hard though. Yes, yeah. Fit, fit, um, fit as a fiddle. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, training training's been different this time because obviously I've had a, a change of scenery. Yeah. And, um, I was gonna say, how's that has that has affected your training at all? Like you're not training at home, is that it's just been, um, it's kind of, like, I almost haven't felt like I'm in fight camp. Um, yeah. Like, the training is still as intense as what it would be back home. Yeah. Uh, I'm still hitting uh, all the, the different um, skill sets. Yeah, and, right. Um, but I'm also getting to explore Perth at the same time, so. Yeah, yeah. It's, distraction. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah it's, been, um, it's been a nice distraction, you know. Yeah, I've never yeah. been to Australia before. So, oh really? Yeah, I've never oh. been. So, um, my little tour guide I here. I apologise about been... the weather. It's been uh, pretty oh, yeah. crap. It's winter time. But you know, yeah. it's winter. This is winter in Perth for yeah. people that are not uh, Australian. The rain I've never seen it so bad. So it has yeah. literally like I think it's rained probably ninety percent of the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, people always go on about the great weather in Perth. Yeah. Like it's as if we don't get a winter, but we do get a winter. Yeah. yeah. It's cold. It's like yeah. cold as hell in the morning, and mm. but you know we do have uh, it interspersed with nice sunny days, like you know. Yeah, it's once. beautiful. Every like, three weeks or something. I'm actually, worried. I'm part ginger. I'm starting to worry if my head's oh. gonna burn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's You're, okay. Um, looking at your background, obviously you've gone off the topic, but yeah, mm. your mum's Thai. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. 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 Mm. So my mum is from Thailand, and yeah. my dad is from Whitby in England. Mm. Um, yeah, they've been together a long, long time, uh, and everyone assumes that. Uh, Oh, you must have started Thai boxing because your mum's Thai. Oh, yeah. The complete yeah. opposite. My mum yeah. is such an old school um, uh, Thai mum, you know. She's, oh, really? yeah, yeah, Thai boxing isn't for girls. Yes. So, oh, uh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah she, she really doesn't like it. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> but, um, but my parents, you know, they just let me, let me crack on. And, yeah. Um, they're actually, what, only six hours away from here? Yeah. Um, or something, so... They're six hours away. So my, Tom, they're yeah, in oh, my yeah. Oh, they're in Thailand now. Yeah. They do oh, now, yeah. Nice. Oh, so jealous. Yeah. The weather there is yeah. so Beautiful. good. Yeah. My, my um, brother married a Thai oh, woman. Really? And they had, just had a little girl. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, she's going to be beautiful. But they, uh, her, she has a son, uh-huh. and uh, he does Muay Thai. Oh, okay. Yeah. And she's cool. not particularly keen on it. Like, yeah. it wasn't yeah. through her. Yeah. But uh, he just loved it, so he... I don't think it's like I don't think it's any mum's dream for their daughter to go get punched in the face. No, but, probably um, not. I was telling know, Manchu the day <laughs> mom, I never tell my mum when I was fighting. Oh really? I, yeah, so I'd always would always lie to my mum. <laughs> yeah. And then my dad, oh, really? then my dad would come and watch us. Oh and, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, and, uh, that's just, like secret uh, behind your yeah, mum's yeah. back. So then yeah. we'd come Sunday and have mm. dinner with my mum. Yeah. Black eyes, <laughs> and cuts and stuff. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh, you've been fighting? No, no. Just, just training, just training. <laughs> that was said, is hardcore. I've seen it in the newspaper, you were fighting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah, mums don't like it. Same, no, yeah. No. yeah. Well, I can't. I, I would hate it. I have a 22-year-old daughter and yeah. I hate it. But if she wanted to do it, I wouldn't stop yeah. her doing anything she wanted to do That's as true. long as it was legal. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't, you know, detrimental to her health. Yeah. You know, yeah. The amount of benefits you get from being, you know, in training yeah, and yeah. discipline, not just mental, it, yeah. but uh, not just mental. sometimes when people from the outside, mm. you just look at, obviously, you're hitting each other yeah. Yeah. or jiu-jitsu, you're, like, you're trying to, like, get people in locks and things like that. Yeah. Mm. And think of that part of it but there's so many benefits of it because oh, a lot yeah. of kids that come in especially in the gym or even uh, guys or girls are older and the, mm-hmm. the confidence they get from doing it the fitness they get mm-hmm. from doing it yeah, yeah, the yeah. fact that they can defend themselves now and all yeah. this other stuff yeah you have to put yourself in the sort of situation where 
Other, otherwise, things for self defence ain't going to work. I mean, There's even so you many look at other benefits. things like football and yeah. uh, a lot of those contact sports, yeah. Yeah. like they, their actual incidence of serious injury, head injury, yeah. Yeah. is much greater than in boxing, martial arts. Yeah. Exactly. Much, much greater. Yeah. 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 And uh, it's just that it looks br- brutal and violent. Yeah, because yeah. the because purpose of it is, yeah. to, is to do yes, that. But, yeah, right. yeah, it but it's, it's a, a much more safer. controlled environment. You're... Tr- you, you're actually on guard to protect yourself. Yeah. yeah. Whereas, you know, when you're in these, these contact sports, um, you, you're placed in vulnerable positions that you are, that you might, you're not really so much on the defence protecting yourself so yeah. much, you know. You're just uh, yeah. trying to get the ball or trying to outrun yeah. someone and, and jumping in all sort of weird, uncontrolled uh, yeah. positions. So, it, you know, there's to, a lot greater... In that, injury. you're dealing with someone in front of you where someone's not running thousand miles an hour yeah, trying to take yeah, you yeah. off from the back yeah. or the side yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there's, there's risks in everything but yeah. if you choose yeah. to do it and it's a sport then everyone should be able to mm. do what they want to do you know in, right. in, yeah. if it's safe yeah. in, that, in that way yeah. and it's got like safety precautions yes yeah, exactly. yeah. And, you, and you take it as far as you want to take it it can just be like me who just uh, you know doesn't have fights who just learns the skill yeah. and then yeah. you can have a few fights or then you can yeah. be someone who's really a serious athlete you but know. I feel if you started younger you would have had some fights <laughs> <laughs> I w- I'm pretty sure I would have but I'm, yeah. I'm too old gosh damn it oh, but yeah. uh, I'm a lot fitter and that's what what was important to me but yeah, yeah I really would have loved to have started uh, younger yeah. So, yeah I think um, hmm. I would have been alright I reckon Yep. I think so. Yeah. Amanda hits like a man, by the way. <laughs> like, oh, I took her on the pads oh. the other day, and I was like, holy <laughs> shit, she hits so hard. <laughs> when, you got, when you told me that, I went home, and I was like, oh, with my sisters, oh, my God, it's straight over at the gym. And she told me oh, I hit like a man. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> like, they understand uh, what that means for me. I was yeah. just, like, driving home going, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, just... Um, uh, we talked about your strength and conditioning before. Mm-hmm. So there's Barry Gibson. He he sends you over programs. Yeah. When, when you're training, and then how mm-hmm. I was, I'm quite interested in how he splits it up. Like, say if it's a fight camp, mm-hmm. um, I don't know how much detail uh, is there, but like with say if you had eight weeks. Yeah. And how would how would he divide that for your strength and conditioning? And what sort of stuff would you do from week to week? Okay, so um, yeah, I used to travel uh, to train with with Barry, um, but the more I kind of went out the country, went out the country. Um, who he, now he kind of like sends me the workouts to do. Yeah. Um, but he, oh really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. So we like to get three sessions in a week. Um, one will be uh, strength. So he keeps it really simple: deadlifts, pull-ups, mm. uh, floor press, um, zercher squats. Um, yeah. You know, he likes to likes to lift heavy. And what sort um, of reps are we looking there? Sort of. Five and six reps. Yeah. Four oh, to five so sets. Pretty heavy. Yeah. Four five sets. Yeah. Four five yeah. sets. And what's um, our rest period? Uh, I want to say about maybe ninety seconds or so. Okay. Uh, I yeah. could be wrong. Um, sometimes I have plenty of rest in between. Yeah. Um, but he, he's obviously he knows a shitload more than me. Um, yeah. He. And he's a very good his con- training conditioning is conditioning show coaches. He's taught a lot of, uh, didn't he do stuff for Ross Pearson? Ross Pearson, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's trained a lot of the Northeast fighters. You've got um, Ross Pearson, Colin Fletcher, Andrew Fisher, uh, the pro boxers, Johnson, Kirk Goodins. You know, there's this, there's a lot of uh, pro guys that train with him. Um, and because we all want to get strong without putting on size, yeah. you know, we're all yeah. in a, a, a weight limit Weight's sport. Hard, so. yeah. Um, he's brilliant for that. Um, so yeah, we do like a strength, um, and then we'll do like a, a, a power circuit. So he usually likes to compare a strength movement followed uh, with an explosive movement. Yeah. So, yeah. so for, for example, example yeah. um, uh, like a heavy squat followed by explosive jump squats. Yeah. Um, or a heavy sled push followed by a sprint. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Uh, compare, uh, combining the, the strength with the, the explosive movement. Yeah, so you want that velocity yeah. sort of yeah. dependent movement yeah. and then you want to also yeah. get strong. Yeah, and I like those because they're not as um, as physically taxing on yes. your body, but yeah. it's, it's um, uh, you know, you're still reaping the benefits from yeah. it. Um, 
time. We're working two systems. There, yes. And yeah. So you're not just hammering one. Which yeah. Is very fatiguing. Yeah. It would it be? Uh, is it a focus? Like you would have a day where you focus more on sort of legs, or are you working major muscle groups? Uh, yeah, it's usually a movement. So a squat, a hip, a push or a pull. Yeah. So right. um, yeah. you yeah. know, so so full body. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, one day it might be uh, so a squat, and then we'll do um, pressing a kettlebell followed yeah. by plyometric push-ups. And, yeah. And, yeah. Um, so we just give us an example because I know the guys would be really interested. Mm-hmm. Um, so say just a, one example of a workout where you're doing that um, that power phase. Yeah. So say what, what were you going and what would happen? Uh, okay, so one time, uh, so warm up. Um, I do usually do three or four sets. Uh, yeah. So maybe I do a, a heavy kettlebell squat. Yeah. Um, for I think six to eight reps. Yeah. And then one time you had me on the crash mat and it's four explosive jumps. Yeah. So there's a little reset point in between. So I'm not blasting them out and, and getting Ooh, that burn. It's, like it's that in. reset, yeah. Yeah. fire up as, as high yeah. and high as I can. Yeah. Um, and then we'll do all those sets, yeah. like have a little rest and I'll move on to the next set. So I might do um, some weighted dips. Yeah. Um, so there's my pushing motion. And I might do uh, like flat push-ups. Yeah. Um, again, do those as a set, and then. So, like, so like super set of the same muscle um, group, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like um, the the two exercises back to back, a little bit of a rest. Yeah. Back to back, a little yeah. bit of rest until those are done, and then maybe um, some pull-ups, weighted pull-ups if possible, um, followed by really explosive med ball slam. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you just uh, work in the, the the movement and the. the so the, that would take you maybe half an hour. Yeah, it doesn't take yeah. long. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's. That's um, all you want, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so what would your so, third day be? So third day, uh, Barry calls it fight day. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's the one everyone hates. Oh, it's really? intense. It's yeah. grueling. Yeah. It's 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 um, endurance based. Yeah. So. Usually it'll be three five-minute rounds, um, and there's everything in there from bear crawls to burpee pull-ups to crash mat running to med ball slams, push-ups. You know, he, he'll he'll um, vary the exercises, but again, you work in the full body, yeah. and it's just building up that lactate threshold and yeah. and just trying to keep the power there as much as you can. Um, so there's short changeovers. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, so 30 so, seconds yeah. on, 5 seconds off, 30 seconds yeah. on, 5 yeah. seconds off, and, yeah. and um, you know, varying the exercises, yeah. um, and sometimes making them a bit more, f- like, fight specific as well, so you might get the resistance band around my waist, yeah. and I'm knee in the yeah. bag, yeah. And, yeah. Um, or we're shooting on the dummy, um, soup playing the dummy, you know, yeah. it's, it, it, it's awful, it burns your lungs, mm. everything's hurting, um, you get a minute rest and you go again. You yeah. get a minute rest and you do your, your three, four, or five rounds. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's one of those. It's disgusting at the time. You hate it. <laughs> but afterwards, you're like, yeah, yeah. yeah like, feel I good feel afterwards. good. Yeah. 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 Um, and you know you've put the work in. Yeah. 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 Um, and so mentally as well, it's yeah. it's, it's you good. Know, it's good. Benefiting. Yeah. Mm. Do you do you yeah. cop any isometric hold stuff in that? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Because yeah. obviously, there's times in the fight where. You, you yeah, know, you 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 and you're then you're holding yeah, on yeah, and then yeah. you're exploding, yeah. yeah. Um, so one actually I, I put in this morning circuit because uh, yeah. you're holding yourself yeah. on the bar, um, which in itself is hard, just yeah. holding, holding yeah. your weight there. Um, but then if you incorporate cycling the knees as well, yeah, it it's, that was really it hard. makes it even harder. You enjoyed that one, didn't you? <laughs> you enjoyed it. Yeah, it was, you do I that one it. really well. That is such I might a hard do exercise. Some of that later on again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was just stoked um, I could pull. I remember I couldn't pull myself yeah. up. Before, yeah. I remember. Pull up. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I can good. do that once. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a big believer <laughs> in that. Um, obviously, in carbon isometric holds in. Yep. Yeah, it yeah. It's so hard. Yeah. 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 You you need to work your muscles in all ways. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, definitely. And isometric because especially that is life. What we do. And yeah. especially, yeah, yeah, like you know, in everyday life, you don't have like so much isometric stuff uh-huh. holding stuff. But yeah. Uh, you're also trying sometimes. to raise that. I mean, we had a conversation um, on the last last podcast 
well, uh, uh, I think it was the last one, lactic threshold. Oh, yeah. We're saying obviously yeah. we can make a big improvement in that. You can. But we're talking about VO2 yeah. max, wasn't it? And yeah, it wasn't, VO2 you can't, max. You can't obviously increase. VO2 max, you can improve that somewhat, you know. So if you're really unfit and you train and train and train, then, you know, you can improve your VO2 max. But, you know, it gets to elite level. So, you know, I'm sure your VO2 max would be, you know, in, in the 60s. And you really, you know, no one really gets above that. That's like the top 1% of the population has a VO. Most people's VO2 max is 30 something. I'm just saying that you are. That. <laughs> <laughs> That's my prediction. I'm pretty sure you would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the amount of training that you do, you would be, you know. And, um, uh, it, it, that's all the, the you're limited by you know the size of your thoracic cage how much uh, uh, your lungs can expand mm-hmm. uh, your amount your, how your circulatory system is um, you know developed in your body and uh, a lot of that is genetic anatomical yeah. it can't you can't get any you know you can improve blood supply to things to and, and then it gets to a point it's awesome it, you can't deliver any more oxygen to tissues mm-hmm. it's the best you're going to get so you can't increase your oxygen yeah. consumption yeah which is your vo2 max yeah but you want to try that threshold that lactic acid threshold that stops you in your tracks that makes you slow down that makes yeah. you have to stop and recover fine. and most things that's what really really gets you, you yeah know, you, well it is comp, you're yeah a, a yeah MMA, yeah, yeah. Threshold yeah. It burns just... it uh your body it gets to a point like some people can just mentally push through that lactic acid threshold they've reached it and like where most people would go oh i gotta stop you know your brain is telling you you gotta stop because you you need to give your body time to get rid of that lactic acid because it becomes you know changes like you know the acidity and ph and all this stuff within the system like uh some people can just push through that a, bit, a little bit longer yeah. than others, uh, but there's inject- a few of us out there that can do yeah, that. Yeah, and when I push through, <laughs> it, it's amazing. <laughs> but you know, you can, uh, you want to m- work your system so that you get your lactic acid threshold close to your yeah. VO2 okay. max. Yeah. Because if you if you have an awesome lactic uh, VO2 max. Uh, you know, you can take in shitloads yeah. of yeah. oxygen. Your threshold is down here. You're going to stop before you even yeah, yeah. can Reach use. Yeah. You know so that's your the potential. Major goal. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to try to have it. You know, eighty above eighty percent or something. Your VO, yeah. your lactic acid threshold about. You know, about eighty percent or so of the uh, your, your VO two max. Yeah. Which is similar to your cardiac reserve. Yeah. I was just interested last time we talked about and thinking about your training. Mm. Um, so when you do the three times a week. Mm. Do you find that if it's like super intense, does it have an adverse effect sometimes on your skill-based training? Or have you got it to a, down to a part yeah. where it's good? So um, you know? I like to vary the intensity. So um, I wouldn't do uh, one of those sessions and then spar in the same day. Or um, Would you do it the next day? Or would you do it the day before? Like, uh, how would you? So I like, to, I like to get my sparring in at closer to the start of the week. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because um, I, I don't want to. That, that that's where you you're getting punched and you're getting kicked and and, yeah. and, and you're trying to put into practice yes. what you're going to do in the fight. Exactly. So I don't want to go in fatigued mm. and um, and and We're trying to throw yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. just making stupid mistakes. So. Um, so but, like, I find that this is where mm. people get it wrong, and, mm. the, and they're doing like a workout or a mm-hmm. intense or CrossFit type workout, whatever. Yeah. And they come to do the sparring and the skill based stuff, yeah. and they're really having a poor performance. Yeah. Yeah. And right. So you've got to really judge on what you're doing. You've got to yeah. do that sort of stuff where you're conditioning, yeah. but yeah. at the end of the day, you're fighting. Exactly. You're, not, you're not doing a, yeah. a, yeah, a yeah, CrossFit comp or something. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. You've yeah. got to make sure you do it in yeah. the right places and not overdo you think it. Yeah. That your best bet yeah. is the actual sparring. Yeah. You know, while you're doing the whole thing, isn't it? And the, the the training, your strength and conditioning, you need to remember, it is supplemental to your fight game. Yeah. yeah. So it yeah. shouldn't hinder any of your, your skill training. Exactly. So if, you, if you're if you doing a, a strength workout and you can't walk for the next four days, yeah. like you've gone too far yeah. or, you know, it, it's, yeah. um, you, know, you need to find that balance um, and find a good coach, you know, who's going to uh, supplement your training, not... Um, 
can do it and, and yeah. make You've got to work together. I mean, like, yeah. Especially you've got two coaches or three coaches yeah. or whatever you're doing with different systems. Yeah. They've got to work together. And I think you guys over there are pretty good with that. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. You, you know yeah. each other. Yeah. Because someone goes, I'm doing the conditioning for her. Yeah. I'm going to smash her here. And they go, I don't yeah, care what wrong. you've done there. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, smash exactly. you in the, in the class. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's good when you have them connections. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, whenever I walk up to, well, I used to go to Barry's, it's the first thing we'd be like, how are you feeling today? What have you done? What are you training later? Oh, that's good. And you know, yeah. and, and yeah. if if for whatever reason um, what you had planned isn't quite going to fit, you know, yeah. and you'll taper it, it'll change. It's yeah. like right, let's do that tomorrow, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you know, so that that that's the beauty of um, having coaches all on the same wavelength um, and and not having one person who th- who thinks they can do everything. Yeah, you know, because yeah. it, yeah. it it might not be their specialist area. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So. Yeah. Um, can't be an expert in everything. Yeah, exactly. Can't be. I think exactly. people try and make out they are. Yeah. But like at the end of the day, you're always learning. Yeah. And you're yeah. never gonna know everything. Yeah. So yeah. No. Yeah. That's just a bit. Of a, that's a bit of an ego are. thing. You know? yeah. 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 Well, it's like um, so obviously I've come here to train with you. Yeah. Uh, but Martin Wilby is still my uh, my coach. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you know, like you guys spoke before I came out here. Trying um, to do exactly. Make sure, yeah. Make them two different. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, and obviously I still speak to Will and um, and just keep everyone on the same page yeah. because uh, you guys are all um, just coming together to help me be the, the best I can yeah. be and mm-hmm. um, yeah. and that's that's what's important really. I think that's the goal of most coaches is just yeah. just to make it's really good to see people do well. Yeah. Mm. And that's what you put all the effort in to do that. It's not um, yeah, it's just really, really good like I mean Give, 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 we us give us the best we can. Yeah. Hopefully that'll come across, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. and hopefully yeah, yeah. you'll get the goal that you want to get to. Yeah, it's yeah. not about yeah. your ego. It's no. about getting the best out of you that yeah. you possibly yeah. get. You know. Yeah. And and Lance is very good to teach in that she'll just take everything on board. Oh really? You know what I mean? Like yeah, she'll, she'll and she'll give a hundred percent all the time. Yeah. Uh, but she's smart in that she'll tell me if like something's sore or whatever. You know, like she's yeah. not. Yeah. You know, she doesn't. She, she's. Alex. Yeah. <laughs> Ignore that bit. Yeah. yeah. But um, but um, yeah, very yeah. easy to teach. I like I like people like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. I can't imagine you get to where you are mm. without being a motivated individual. Mm. Uh, that was something that I was sort of interested in asking you. You know, motivate and motivation wanes and and rises and. Uh, you know, is there anything in particular that you do or use to help keep you motivated? With, you know, when days when you just can't be asked, training, um, and is there a particular thing you have or do that? Uh, actually, I kind of try and wake up every day and and um, sing. look at and sing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? He's you singer? Singing? No, no. Um, Especially now, like uh, martial arts has helped me travel the world. I've met so many different people and have such great experiences. And um, you know, I can give that up in a second and go back to waitressing. You know, that's yeah. what I did since I was a kid. Oh, my, really? Yeah, my mum used to work in pubs and restaurants, yeah. and I was always waitress. Right, and, yeah. And I had my stint in work. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, and sometimes I'd be waitressing, and I'd be like, man do this for the rest of my life no. like and um and sometimes you know you, you have those days where you don't want to fucking train like yeah. it's you're so sore and you're stiff and yeah. um but you've got to remember like relaxing. yeah but what what's the alternative you know yeah. like um it's only those 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 small um glimpses of oh, this is shit this is it it doesn't yeah. outweigh um, where martial arts has taken me and yeah. where it continues to take me. And how me you and feel. Yeah. You do it. Like, yeah. Like, I love it. Or after yeah. you've finished, do you recall exactly. those feelings? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Use that as a motivation. Yeah. It helps if you, if you really enjoy just physical training. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not everyone does. Yeah. I mean, no. I, I do. I love, I love training just for the sake of training. Yeah. Especially yeah. in martial arts. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's just something yeah. you enjoy so, just moving yeah. your body. And exactly. But I know the motivation yeah. can weigh, like, especially if you're in a fight camp. Because yeah. then you know you have to train on a certain time and yeah. a certain day, yeah. and yeah. you feel sore, yeah. and the pressure's getting a bit. 
yeah. So you're going, oh god, yeah. Then you really need that motivation to push you through, and really like big, why am I doing this? Yeah. And you gotta have a big reason why you're doing it. Yeah. yeah. I say to some of the, some of the guys, and like, write down why you're doing it before we start uh-huh. yeah. uh, a fight camp, because then you're gonna need that later on. Yeah. Because like Draw it gets on, hard, yeah, get, yeah. and then the nerves yeah. come in. How long fight camps yeah. usually? Uh, six to eight weeks, I think. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Ideally, but and I mean, is it fight camp because. Um, you're, you're not going to some camp thing. It's just the, uh, the process of what you do to prepare for the fight. Yeah, it's, yeah, like, a, it's, it's like a process. It's more specific, isn't it? So, like, yeah. like I've never... Um, it's like if I said to Lance now, I said, I'll get a fight in six weeks, mm. yeah. Yeah. straight away she'll switch on and everything yeah. will become about that fight. Yeah. So everything, yeah. all your eating comes around that because yeah, you know yeah. you've got to cut weight, you've yeah. got to have the... the, the the exercise and you yeah. don't know when you're training yeah. and it gets you it's yeah. like yeah. it's like just getting super so focused single minded yeah. super focused yeah. whereas yeah. you're training you're training hard still yeah. but then when it comes to a fight camp straight away some switches in your head because yeah. yeah. you know you're fighting just goes yeah. up a notch uh, and yes yeah. or like yeah. a few it's notches yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah like that's something I was also going to ask you is um, do you reckon like nutrition do you reckon while we're talking here we could switch positions <laughs> okay because my back is killing me <laughs> um, is that I've, I've yeah, really. actually like three times or you're comfortable yeah I've, I what sit on the change? floor a lot so I can't really because I don't yeah, feel like leaning change this is a oh, pos- I'm like really this is a, a you keep talking I'm going to stretch for a second well, <laughs> I'm off the camera lunch. well I wanted to uh, ask you about nutrition okay because I know there will be a lot of people who um, you know fighting or not yeah will uh, are interested in in what you know is the ba- yeah. basic nutritional principles yeah like whether they change when you're in fight camp which I'm sure they do and um, you know what, what are your sort of main nutritional guidelines guidelines yeah nature's um, guidelines save me muffins save me muffins <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a save me muffin until I got here um, they're actually really tasty um, oh, really? Like, yeah <laughs> No, um, so... Why do they not have new, uh, savoury muffins that maybe, much? Eh? Maybe they do in India. I've never mm. seen them, though. They're not she's They're all blueberry muffins and chocolate chip. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and then you came across kilos. one and you went, <laughs> oh, cheese and chives muffin, yeah. that's new. I was like, what's that Bacon about? and cafeteria or something. Yeah, feta. Yeah. yeah. Feta. yeah. Um, so, basically, I, I, I eat well, so mm. I eat... Uh, plenty of meat, yeah. um, eggs, vegetables, um, yeah. but like I still want to enjoy my life. So yeah. like um, I'll still have like the odd cake and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you what's that? What's for? That? That's funny. <laughs> what's happening here? Is it? I wanted a no, little more no, cake than normal. One. Yeah, oh. I had uh, a little. We went to Fremantle Market. Yeah. yeah. There's four little cakes. So yeah. there's three of us, and then she goes, "Have the other one." I was like, no, no, it's okay. And by the time that I left my bite, mouth... Was that was Lawley's? It, was it Lawley's no, it in Fremantle Market? market? Yeah, no, no, like there's a Lawley's in oh, Fremantle Market. Oh, I'm not sure. The little ones, They have yeah. the best little lemon yeah. tart. Stuff like that. Crazy. I'm not sure what it was called. Yeah. But literally, was I said, though. I was like, I was being polite. I was like, no, you have it. And as I finished my sentence, it was in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> Fight count. You shouldn't be polite. <laughs> 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 That's not going to do anything, that little thing. No, no. It's only like tiny. Yeah. So you 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 have good sources of protein, your eggs, yeah. your yeah. Uh, your dairy. Yeah. Bit of dairy. A little bit, yeah. And yeah. and your meat. Yeah. Do, uh, are you a sort of fish chicken person or you, you you like to have a bit of red meat? Uh all of the above. Yes. Um I, I eat a lot of chicken and fish, mm. it's a bit more lean. Yeah. Um I like a steak, uh, mm. but I feel a bit heavy after it sometimes, yeah, so yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. usually eat too much of that. Um, and are you a breakfast, lunch, dinner person? Yes, with some snacking in between. Yeah, um, <laughs> all the time, or while you're in fight camp, while uh, you've got these demands on you, increased demands physically. Well, I mean, you're fairly lean anyway. Yeah, aren't you, all the yeah. time. Yeah. So, yeah, it's thankfully so I don't. You have to really watch it. Yeah, so I, much for weight uh-huh. control. Um, like I was saying to Steve, now this is like the heaviest of. I've ever been when I was oh, really? in, yeah when I was in the tough house oh, you must have been um, I was kind of yeah. so I, you put more muscle on now I've, yeah, yeah I've yeah, just right. um, I've kind of filled out a little bit and I feel mm. strong and, and really healthy for yeah. it um, you know in my Muay Thai career I, I was 50, fighting at 52 mm. walking around at 52 and a half 53 yeah, yeah. you know what I mean yeah, yeah. and then um, 
in the tough house same thing I was the only one who didn't have to cut any weight um, yeah right. I was again walking around at maybe 53 54 max yeah, so watching yeah. the ultimate fighter you looked like a small frame compared <laughs> yeah. to the other girls yeah the and small girls really. were, were dropping a lot of weight yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah the, since then um, say now I'll, I'll walk around at say 55 56 kilos mm. um so even then, it's still not a lot of weight to lose. No, um, no. So yeah, I'm just uh, just watching watching what I eat, but yeah. I can still eat plenty of the right yeah. stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. Whereas yeah. some some fighters they'll balloon up, yeah, and they'll come back down again. Yeah. A lot of guys who do that and they drop a crazy amount of weight. Yeah. Um, so again, yeah. it depends on the on the person and yeah. Yeah. you know how you are between the fight camps. Some people stay lean all the time, like yeah. are close, and some people like go massive yeah. and then yeah. come back down yeah. Yeah. they go Which massive because they've just put on weight or they've just I think they just, just eat like a lot yeah, yeah. Just, like, eat a during lot. the training is that, uh, is that no, what you after, after, after fight oh, you know, right. in between, yeah, yeah, in between. Yeah, yeah. they just go back to their yeah so yeah. they're blue and they're blue yeah. and weight you know? but I'd say you know a lot of that uh would be just putting your weight on back eating when you're eating what you normally eat you would have lost a lot of weight during that yeah but they go beyond yeah. Yeah. I mean, some of the guys that have put like yeah. body, a lot of body fat because they've back. they've sacrificed and probably missed yeah. a lot of things. Yeah. So they probably indulge yeah. a little bit too much. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. That's why I agree with like having like the odd cake and stuff yeah, every yeah. now and so again. You know, so it's do, like, it, um, yeah, it doesn't because it is. You get to the end of the fight, and it's like, mm. oh my god, yeah. like every cake, chocolate, pizza you see, mm. it's like. I haven't had it for eight weeks, yeah. six weeks, and mm. you know you just go on a big binge. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just like to, like, because like you said, going back to remembering why you do it. Sometimes in fight camp, it could be like, especially when you you're having to like yeah. cut out these foods and stuff, and it gets mm. miserable. It gets lonely. You don't mm. you don't hang out with your friends because yeah. the they want to do sociable stuff. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Sometimes yeah. the sociable stuff relates around eating. Yeah, oh, sometimes, sometimes it's so sometimes. often. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, eating is one of the most social things to do. Yeah. So yeah. it's always, you know, going out to dinner or going to lunch. Uh-huh. Or going. Yeah. So yeah. it's... Uh, it's not an easy easy lifestyle in that way. No. I mean, obviously, you need to enjoy the train and everything else because there is yeah. some, some negatives in, the, in, the, in mm. that part, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sacrifice, mm. it's like, you know, sacrifice is never easy, but... Um, but also, the, you, you, uh, you know that it's uh, uh, for a, just a certain period of time. Once you, the fight's over, you can, yeah. uh, you know, have treat yourself a little yeah. bit more yeah. and, and, and not be as strict. But yeah. Yeah. but you're very lucky in the way that your, uh, you know, the weight your weight is pretty manageable anyway. It's mm. not like you have to shed a huge amount. Yeah. Because I'm sure that. Uh, that's a really difficult, mentally a really difficult aspect. Yeah, of, I think that's yeah. the hardest bit about fighting, mm. cutting weight. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. Whether they, they change that, you know. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of promotions now are looking into different ways to control because that's it's the most dangerous part. I think cutting mm. weight. Yeah. So, so whether that, you end up, uh, mm, you know, dehydrate. losing a lot of water weight, yeah. dehydration. I've had some serious dehydration. No, like, you don't. You don't want to yeah. be like yeah. pushing your body physically. When you're dehydrated. No, you're very... not going to get the best performance. So as no. a spectator, you're not going to get the best out of the people. That, yeah. reduces, so, yeah. that will reduce your performance mm. significantly Definitely. in your yeah. strength. Yeah. It's like, um, yeah. Know, I've been asked to go down to atom weight. And I'm like, 48. no, 48 kilos. Yeah. Like, oh, is that what it yeah. is? Yeah. Atom weight. I, I think like, it's called atom weight. Atom weight, yeah. Mm. But that's... <laughs> <laughs> I always think in science. So you say atoms, and I'm thinking yeah. protons, neutrons, and electrons. Oh my god! Like, yeah. uh, <laughs> geek. Oh, brilliant. Um, what else did I want to ask you? Oh, I find it interesting when people describe themselves like in one word. Like, if you had to like just say, obviously you're a complex creature, but like if you had to just describe yourself in just one word, like what word would that be? Think of something? Probably weird. <laughs> what do you say? Weird. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Weird I, is wonderful. It's probably true. Yeah. Is yeah. it? What about you? Me. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Go on. I don't Boring. know. I don't know. It's a hard one. Yeah. It's hard. I always no. find it really interesting when you ask. Oh, you describe yourself? Uh, yeah. Uh, stubborn. 
stubborn. Stubborn. Mm. Yeah. Stubborn, I think, sums it up. Cause mm-hmm. There's positive and negative attributes of being stubborn, and I've got yes. those. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so with um, the obviously the future, obviously the yeah. main goal would be, I presume, to get back to UFC. Yeah. Yeah. Get oh, back yeah. into that and, and yeah. compete in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, is there any other routes you'd take along the way in, like, any other promotions that you'd want to be involved uh, in what do you think of the I like, push like um, is it Invicta got the Invicta, and stuff yeah like Invicta's all female card um, yeah, yeah. Uh, 1FC you'll have a lot of girls your weight as well yeah 1FC the, in the, Asia. the Asian yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, yeah well the, the thing is I, I'm, I'm happy to fight anywhere yeah. um, you know it, I've never I've, in my whole time obviously you'll know yourself training with Paul yeah We've never ever turned down a fight. Yeah. We've never ever oh, really? taken an easy fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well th- hearing about your first yeah. one, that yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can thank him for my mentality yeah. for going to that. Like, yeah. Oh, there's a fight on the weekend. You want to take it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. What's what it are you for? doing in the next hour? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, like the show I'm fighting on in a couple of weeks' time is actually. The, sh- the show where I had my first MMA fight so it's it's 30 oh, minutes right. up the road yeah. um, so I'm really looking forward to it because mm. it's so close to home um, I've got a lot of uh, friends and family coming yeah. to watch oh, that's great. so, that so the guys really back cool. home just talking about that mm. want to get tickets where will they get it from mm. you can get tickets from the lab at Darlington so there's a guy there Paul Hardy is holding the fort for me and he's uh, uh, along with Will uh, but Paul takes the majority of my classes um, he's got the tickets. Yeah, I've got tickets there. Um, I'm sure, pretty sure you can get them off Dale Percival himself, the, the promoter of Made for the Cage. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, come and uh, see me get back in action. It's been a, a year and a half since I last fought. Mm. So, I'm, uh, and I've done so much in that time. So, I'm just really excited to, to get back in there and, and uh, you know, showcase some skills. I'm very excited to get back home. Like, for a yeah. bit, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, that travel. Yeah, I spend a lot of time uh, out of the country these days, mm. um, but it, it's always nice to go what back. What an experience, though. Yeah. Yes, definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, I bet you the um, yeah people at your gym are missing you, like you know, know people that take your classes. <laughs> and, you know. Yeah, I think they're only missing me because uh, Paul is giving them such a hard time right now. Oh, really? In the class, yeah, I've had a couple of messages. I wouldn't say Gosh, that your classes were back. easy though. No. <laughs> <laughs> really predicting to be extremely <laughs> sore when I wake up in the morning. Possibly, <laughs> yes. You've got some good. Um, uh, I was quite excited to bring you over because obviously the experience you've had travelling around some of the best gyms like mm. Jackson's is probably, what if not if not the best, best in the world. Yeah, yeah. Oh and really? Then, yeah. And then, and then Kings is obviously a well known gym yeah. and yeah. trend in Brazil. Yeah. So for that, so some of the jewels you've brought back and and mm. um, things you've shown has been really good. Yeah. You know, like I've been really enjoying learning that just find cool. different bits and pieces and I'm excited about your yeah. seminar, seminar oh seminar well. this yes. weekend yeah. whether this will be posted in time I don't know but oh. yeah. seminar I'll do my best yeah. <laughs> seminar yeah. this weekend um, yeah. that's going to go through some uh, striking uh-huh. masterclass stuff like striking obviously the background yes yeah, yeah. yeah. that's going to be exciting yeah well that's I've got fun. my um, my little black book you've yeah. seen and, and that's yeah. that's been with me ever since um Actually, I first went to LA two yeah. years ago. I went over to Wildcard Boxing Gym, and that was to, Freddie Roach. Yeah, yeah Freddie yeah. Roach, and uh, I went so to what, train to Ronda Rousey's gym as well. It's oh, my techniques. So it's a different yeah, thing than cool. what I yeah. I think of as a little black book. What's in your little black book? <laughs> 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 little black book is usually filled with contacts yeah. <laughs> special of the it's male special. gender. <laughs> No, there's, I don't have that anymore, this, that little uh, black book. I'm just saying. Really? <laughs> oh, it's just all technique. There's no, um, oh, there's right, no faff really? in there. Yeah. 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 Um, so just to, throughout your thing. time, you just added yeah, lots of things. Yeah, yeah, I've just... Uh, Is it like journaled, like, or, or sort of uh, just... It's, yeah, so there's, there's some stuff in there. Um, like, uh, so when I was in uh, America... I was, mm. I was writing every day. I, I like to keep track of my heart rate as well every oh, morning. Oh, yeah? And, oh, um, do you? And see how I feel. Yeah. 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 Um, There's a lot of research now with that, isn't there, of uh, your heart rate in the morning. Have you read much about yeah, that? Yeah, resting heart rate. In yeah. the morning when you get up and to do with your training. 
Um, I don't even know if it yeah, was that yet. No. I don't know uh, whether it's. Um, I, I don't know that correlation. No. But that it's okay. qu- quite possible. It's just, sorry, yeah. I read about I've been, it. I've so been reading little bits and pieces, and not exist. enough to have a conversation about <laughs> it. But um, I was just wondering if you'd come across it. But yeah. Sorry. No, yeah. But yeah. I'd be interested in it. Yeah. I'd be interested. Mm. But yeah. obviously, when you wake up in the morning, you're getting your your you know an, an excellent. Uh, you know your basal baseline. heart rate yeah. that's your yeah. baseline yeah. you haven't had any other things that yeah. can stimulate it, you know like sympathetic nervous system or anything like that that yeah. affects your heart rate yeah. so yeah. It, that's why it's probably the best indicator of your yeah. heart rate than taking yeah. it at any time yeah. uh, of the day yeah. you know um, because it's not influenced by environmental and uh-huh. other physiological factors but uh, yeah, so yeah. that's what yeah. my logical assessment of why the morning is good yeah yeah what is it yeah, what is so, it usually um it hovers something or like nest no or it, well, it's usually about between 54 and 58 yeah. um which i don't think is that low um i don't know i've got a nice. really low yeah, resting heart rate but yeah. just the way my heart is yeah i've got um, a really fast one it's always yeah. been the case yeah. Yeah. no matter how fit i get oh, really? it's like about 75 yeah wow. that's resting. yeah yeah Oh, when, the, when the deck doctors recently got my heart rate, they go, so, yeah. you must be like an Olympic marathon runner. Really? I was like, no, like, what was it, like 48 or something? No, it was about 44. Yeah. 44? Yeah, yeah. It's bradycardia. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's slow heart rate, yeah, bradycardia. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, but it wasn't yeah. nothing to do with that. No. no. I, do, I do train, but not. Bradycardia yeah. is just a yeah. fancy way of saying yeah. slow heart rate. Yeah. Okay. You know? yeah. Chill. Chill. Yeah. yeah. It's probably like yeah. 20 now. 20, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... Sorry, yeah, 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 so I, I do that, and um, depending, um, I'll figure out what I'm doing for the day. Sometimes I'll write little goals down. Oh, yeah. um, mm. It's yeah, reflective. Work with, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. We did a podcast I, yeah. a while ago that was all on, you know, ways to keep motivation. Yeah. And, uh, reduce anxiety and stress associated with training and fighting. And, yeah. Um, you would have listened to all them before you come on this podcast. Yes. <laughs> Cool, you, you but you know what you the showed awesome, me today? The awesomeness of that podcast. <laughs> I read the description. I was like, oh my god, I actually want to go and listen to that. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, please I need do. to go back and listen to that. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so that you know that self reflection and yeah. and uh, you know goal yeah oriented behaviour is yeah uh, I think really beneficial. Are you alright with the sun here? Yeah. Am I going red? Am I a little right? bit. Am I? Yeah. I'm not gonna have sunglass tan lines, am I? Maybe. Oh my god, let me put my hood on. Maybe switch it on. Won't go, won't go too much longer. No, no. But um, yeah, what, would my, what I'd really like to um, talk a little bit about as well, because it's quite interesting. Obviously, you train different places. Um, uh, so with Claudia, um, yep. obviously, Freddie Roach, yeah. uh, Ronda Rousey, all these different people around the yeah. world. So have you got any, like, uh, obviously meeting Dana White and, and mm. going to the after party things and all <laughs> yeah. that sort of oh, stuff yeah. so we've got Woo. any stories or whatever because they're, they're very interesting for people listening I think yeah. you know like yeah. a bit of behind the scenes stuff is there anything yeah. that you can think of uh, or is it putting you on the spot no uh, I forgot well Claudia like really look after me in uh, in Brazil um, and one of my favourite moments right you won't agree with this is uh, <laughs> she took uh, me and Will was there at the time and uh, she's taking us for some food and she's cruising us around the streets of Rio in her car and uh, I was like Claudia can you put some of my music on she's like yeah sure sure what is it so I gave her some um, off my phone uh, some new monkey brave <laughs> so it's like it's uh, not home, good. it's it's no one likes it. <laughs> what unless, is it? Unless you're is from, it from the northeast, north it's of England? unless you're yeah. from the northeast of England and you were yeah. a former child back in the day. Um, what sort of genre is that? Like, um, so it's you're a recovering chav, aren't you? So. <laughs> recovering chav. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I don't know what a chav is. <laughs> so um, we we were just uh, dressed in like tracksuit bottoms, big gold earrings. Oh lots my of gold god, jewelry. that's hilarious! Yeah. <laughs> like, Burberry scarves and stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> and okay. Listen to, listen to this music, <laughs> and it's quite um like just 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 as like an oh, MC yeah. over the top and and uh, that sort of repetitive. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I played it for her. She loved it. Oh yeah. yeah Windows yeah. down. She's like yeah. So I just driving in the car. Unless she was just being polite. Being polite. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't Maybe. gonna be polite when she has to put it on the other day. He won't let me play it. I was like nah. 
But yeah. Um, Sorry about that, our Ricky and Glaze, yes. Every <laughs> um, yeah, uh, what else have, what's happened? I don't know what's happened. So when you were in the house, yeah. um, did you have any um, any stories from that? Anything happen um, or anything? God, we were the most chill are you, are you season ever. Some bitchy story? No, no, I'm just interested, like, you know. Next um, in their cat fights. Well, after they wouldn't it finished, be cat fights. They'd and be stuff hardcore. Like it, it finished? Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah. Uh, we went out. Um, so, finished finished uh, filming. Yeah. Literally, like, Kate Jackson had just fought that day as well. Yeah. Um, it, it was, they run like clockwork. So, mm-hmm. they finished the last fights. Um, how, many, how many days did they fight? Fight every, how many days? It just depends. I, mine worked out really well. I fought, like, at the beginning. Yeah. Then two weeks later. Two weeks yeah. after that. Oh, that's yeah. yeah. Um, but Tatiana, the the girl who won, she fought at the beginning. Yeah. And then obviously because she'd won, she wasn't fighting until yeah. the quarterfinals or semi finals yeah, yeah. at the very yeah. end. Yeah. Um, so she had quite a quite a gap. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah. So what did we do afterwards? Uh, we all went out for for dinner uh, on Dana. Yeah. So uh, oh, really? Really? he did. Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. Um, so he hung out with us a bit. Um, looking at the menu and I was like holy shit you know when you're like looking at prices I was like what the fuck yeah. um, and you could I think he's got a bit of money anything. yeah yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think so that's um, one of those times where you can just order what the hell you like yes you know yeah order the most expensive thing on there because yeah. you're not paying so good as well yeah um, yeah and then we good. went out partying after yeah. yeah. Where'd you go partying? Club at like I, I don't to know a club? what it was yeah what? it took us to a club and as yeah. I, I got did DJ in did I see Dana dance? I don't <laughs> think so. I'd be so I don't think so. to know whether he can dance or I, not. I had a few drinks though, so maybe he yeah, did yeah. and I didn't see. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's quite funny. I, I, yeah. I did the, uh, I did the Ulmer Fighter 3 tryouts. You did? And I got through the last few and uh, you got interviewed by him and it was, it was quite funny. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, he's yeah. a nice guy. Yeah. Like, nice. yeah. Um, well, on the few occasions I've spoken to him, yeah, yeah, he yeah. seemed nice enough. Mm. So everyone let so, loose and they partied, they, so, you know, they, yeah, and then we all had to fly home the next day. Oh, yeah, literally sweetie. get on the plane and oh, fly home. Yeah. And fly all the way back to the UK. Yeah. Not a short trip. No. Uh, and then when you were um, at Wild, Wildcard, did, um, did Freddie Rock take on the pads or not? No. He didn't, did, no. He, didn't, no. he was no. there, so I had a bit of crap with him. He told me how he'd met Alan Shearer. Oh, <laughs> and really? then I said where I was from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, uh, I uh, did some pads with uh, one of the guys there, did some sparring with some of the girls there, yeah. which threw me well out of my comfort zone because yeah, really. obviously coming from Thai boxing, um, and, and my style as well was yeah. very leg dominant. Um, yeah. I like to use my, my kicks. Yeah. So to go and spar boxing in a boxing gym yeah, really uh, right. with these girls who only box yeah. was yeah. like, yeah. fuck. Yeah. Uh, but it was again like one of those experiences it pushes you well out of your comfort zone and, and you grow from it and yeah. you do um, I'd do it again yeah yeah no, it's good you experience. did pads with um, oh, what's Rousey's coach called Edmund Edmund yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. he, he uh, one of the times he took me on the pads um, so that was cool like he was a nice enough guy like yeah, yeah. Um, so he gets a he gets a yeah, bad yeah. rap yeah, yeah. 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 Um, mm. but this is obviously like a few years ago now yeah um and at the time, they were nice, and, and, and all the guys in the gym were sound as well. Yeah. yeah um, there was a there was a fight show when the guys were fighting, and obviously I didn't know anybody. Um, I went to LA by myself for a couple of weeks, mm. and you know they invited me along and they made sure I got there safe, made yeah. sure someone yeah. took me home. Oh, that's like, nice. yeah. you know, yeah. Um, yeah. just nice guys. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Yeah. That's good to know that they were like that. Yeah. Mm. You know. Sometimes you, know. you sort most of, ima- of guys imagine them, yeah. some of them being arrogant the guys arrogant the majority are good, but like, you know. it's like any sport. Yeah, in anything, in anything where there's people, yeah. you know, yeah. you're going to have some dickheads and, yeah. Yeah. and some people who are generally nice, caring people. Yeah. Like, the, the um, so now that you've uh, been training at Mac One, and uh, is, there any, is there any difference that you see in... in um, sort of motivation level or attitudes or anything like that like saying this Australian gym as opposed to okay. back home um, or I always just wonder whether people are just synonymous throughout the world 
the way that they approach exercise mm. and um i think i think to do martial arts take takes like a certain kind of personality type anyway yeah. you know so yeah. to to want to get punched and armbarred and choked and everything you know it's it's um you're already on a similar sort of playing field anyway and then i also find everyone's pretty chill because they have that outlet for yeah for training yeah. and um get out of the system exactly oh, it's such a good yeah. stress relief honestly i yeah. can't even recommend it highly <laughs> enough for yeah. that like i was stressed out unit before i started yeah, yeah. Really uh -oh. Who is that? How uh -oh. rude. <sighs> I remember oh. someone saying to put your Can phone you on silent. silent. Sorry. Will be. <laughs> My bad. Um, Some professional. Yeah, I found him. <laughs> <laughs> We're sitting at the beach, yeah. like in the sand. Yeah. This is cash, so yeah. Yeah. it's okay. okay. Yeah. yeah, so they're, 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 all, they're all sort of a similar pe people type. Yeah, obviously, you know. obviously everyone's, a, everyone's different and... Yeah. Um, you yeah, because you get some that are more outgoing, extroverted, yeah. some that are a bit more introverted, but you sort of have, yeah. you put yourself out there when you do this kind of yeah. stuff, I think, more than, so, um, you know, yeah. other sort of types of training. It's uh, Exactly. It's like... You, you, a bit more of a vulnerability yeah. there. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you, you're training with people that um, can't have a problem with, so say a guy, I don't know, 80 kilo guy can't have a problem by getting submitted by a 60 kilo guy yeah. or like you know yeah. the, you, you can't have that ego yeah um, well, I might do it first we, yeah you might do it. it yeah exactly you might yeah. do it first but it soon yeah, humbles it, uh, you teaches you yeah yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah and and that's why i find you know a lot of everyone just gets along i, I guess in martial arts because, i reckon uh, it humbles you and it it also but it also uh builds uh confidence in yourself yeah. yeah like you start Definitely. learning what you can actually do what your yeah. body can do what yeah yeah you know achievements and whether they're just like small goals like i was stoked to be able to yeah. do one pull yeah, up yeah. Yeah. you know it's just yeah. one but i couldn't even like most minute yeah. i couldn't even lift up like before yeah. it's just like a little thing but yeah like that's a big thing to me yeah, exactly and so you have and people like me that that's an achievement and then you've got people yeah. that are actually professional fighters and, yeah. and but we all have our we all have our thing our goals and definitely our everyone's on their own on their good. own path and, yeah um, you know you don't even have to compete to to no. enjoy martial arts no, you no. know you, you can um you know there's there's gradings in jiu-jitsu there's mm -hmm. um yeah but even just, just you know learning how to do submission and do learning before. this and yeah. that and yeah, yeah. Being the seeing the progression got, like, fight like a you have to like really man. want to do it to do a fight and i think yeah because yeah I mean, I, I have classic. guys and girls in the gym who I say, man, you should fight, like, you'd be very good, but yeah. it's just, there's something in it that don't really want to do it, you can no. tell, and yeah. you never want to push anyone, because, yeah, yeah there's a lot of reasons not it to do it. It almost has to become the most important thing. Yeah. Whereas if you've got other things that are, like, you love this, and the, and the idea of fighting would be great, but if there's other things that are more important to you, they, they just naturally take precedence, you know. Yeah, and, and people go through different changes because like, you train someone when they're younger mm. and then some people like stick with it and they push through and they yeah. compete and then other people yeah. go, okay, now I've found girls and boys, <laughs> now I've found yeah. drinking, now that's yeah. a little bit more important That's kind of why I gave up yeah. ballet. And then you miss that little window when you All the parties yeah. I used to miss out on yeah. and, you know, uh, the boyfriends I missed out on, yeah. like because I was just always doing ballet, yeah. like all weekend. There was always yeah. exams and concerts and stuff like that. Uh -huh. and, uh, so yeah, it was just about ba I balanced the two up and, and sort of boys and parties, one and ballet. Yeah, <laughs> got flat. Yeah, happens a lot, don't <laughs> you? Yeah. yeah, but you know, if if I if it was meant to be, that that ballet would have been more important to yeah. me, uh -huh. you know, and, and I would have committed to it, mm. but uh, yeah. but it wasn't. You know, we and I took a different path, like, yeah. like more of an academic path instead of the physical path. Yeah. And there, there you are. But yeah, it's. Uh, I think no matter what, uh, no matter what your purpose is or your passion, like doing any sort of martial arts will benefit you in some way, whether it's getting you fight ready 
for increasing your fitness, your self confidence, yeah. your ability to protect yourself. There's just yeah. so many aspects of it that are that are. Uh, and and even looking at the, I was just reading a study uh, last night about. Um, <laughs> I know. I, love it. I, I emailed it to my students today. Cause I'm pretty excited about it because we're yeah. doing this this uh, boxing. Uh, studies oh, that we're yes, yeah, telling yeah, you yeah, about yeah. where we're looking at uh, how brain function changes after you know a intense boxing session and there's another one that they looked at that uh, not boxing but just in exercise uh-huh. and how that change it changed the ability for people to learn like yeah. a new okay. language you know and I thought mm. that that's just so interesting so it benefits you in ways you don't even really yeah. are not really yeah. obvious to you yeah, yeah. that help you to avoid things like dementia and yeah. things like that yeah. awesome. sorry we went off on a tangent the it's tangent. Right. that's going to be a great study so we'll um, we'll do is we'll finish in a second mm. um, I was just going to talk one last thing um, about obviously we talk about the physical preparations mm. that you do mm. mental preparations mm. you have an involvement with um is he a sports psychologist? A sports psychologist, oh, yeah. Really? I do. So, yeah. Um, oh, I'm so glad you did. So it'd be just interesting to know how that goes, what sort of stuff you do. Mm. Yeah. Um, because I know you were talking to him the other day. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was trying to overhear, I couldn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I was wondering what things you do in that. Yeah, okay. So he's called Rob Dawson at Mindsport uh, Consulting. And I originally got in touch with him when I had lost to Michelle Nicolini. And then I went through a stage of losing some grappling tournaments and I was just mm. like, what the hell is going on? Like, my confidence just went boom. Mm. And I, was, I, I got in touch with him then. And um, he was great. He went right into depth, um, really got to know me. And, um, you know, I felt really, really comfortable talking to him. So I think, right, so this is the guy who, who I think is going to help me. Mm. And, and from then, um, he would set me uh, like daily tasks and um, and now I still have that yeah. so we go through through I've worked with him for what two and a half years now yeah. um, two years uh, I'm not sure how long but um, yeah so each each time um, it's once a week or two weeks or? so I would speak to him on the phone once a week yeah. um, but he would just send the, ta- uh, the the tasks over like whatsapp oh yeah yeah, yeah. 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 and, and and he's there if I if I message him and I'm like, Rob, I've him, had a really yeah. shit session. This didn't yeah. work. I didn't work. I'm, I'm questioning. Because you life. are a bit of an emotional <laughs> yeah. being. Who I am I? <laughs> yeah. Let's not go into that. <laughs> it's okay to cry. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So um, we work on all different uh, aspects of um, the main one being is performance anxiety yeah. I think yeah. everyone 99% of fighters will suffer that you know you, you're warming up you're getting ready to go out your legs are like jelly and mm. your heart's pounding it's like yeah. oh my god like, god, I, like I've why actually am I got doing go, this yeah why am I <laughs> yeah. doing this yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, anxiety and yeah, yeah there's actually a brilliant video I don't know if you've seen it uh, Cowboy Cerrone did it and oh, I did he, see it. Yeah, seen yeah, it. It's yeah. brilliant. And I was like, actually, yeah, uh, Frank made it one a while ago. That was quite good as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's about a fifteen-minute video. Really relate mm. to it. Uh, you know, you, you you're so nervous. Um, yeah. But it's just uh, so it's how to manage it. Yeah, yeah, how to manage it. Yeah, it's yeah. like like that. Those, those feelings are always going to be there. It's how mm. you uh, yeah. control them. How but you. It, yeah. In the day with that one, it's, it's yourself. You put that on yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's yeah, like nothing yeah. from outside. Yeah. It's, it's like. Oh, yeah. what if I don't do well? What if I'm going to let people down? Yeah. What if I, and what if I did? And it's not really usually yeah. about, I'm not, what if I get hurt? You don't really yeah, worry yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. It's all to do with performance. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what sort of drills would he give you for that then? Um, you talk so, about it or is it secret? Yeah. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. <laughs> well, mine, uh, there's a couple of things. Um, so a, a lot of it is to, to do with breathing and like yeah. Uh, yeah. actually, you know, calming yourself down. Yeah. Um, kind of sympathetic nervous yeah. system. So what breathing yeah. um, sort of things would you do? It's just good to have that bit of detail. I think it would be yeah. interesting. Yeah. Um, so he gets me to breathe in through the stomach, up through the mm. chest, up into the, the throat, back down the same way. Yeah. Um, so not just cal- shallow. Yeah. So really like thoracic breathing, like breathing, yeah. like right through the belly. Yes. Um, so I, 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 I practice that, and, and um, we've worked on all sorts of different things over the years. Uh, one in particular was was finding a safe spot. Um, mentally so mm. uh, it's somewhere that actually exists so it, yeah. it, it used to be this place in Darlington where I, I used to walk the dogs and 
um, peaceful yeah, and memory yeah. for you. Yeah. And if I was ever starting to feel like that, I would just breathe, mm, go back to my safe it. spot, and, and, and then go from there. And um, what else? What else has he had me working on? So one one thing in particular for one fight, I can't remember when it was. Um, I. I think f some other people have this as well. They 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 they're scared that they're gonna gas out. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they're not fit enough. Mm. So he made you are like me. Like a fully fitness monster. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. Like it's it's it like I have, I have confidence in my yeah. in my um, in my gas tank yeah. uh, because it, it, it's never failed me, you know. Mm. And, and I know I've put the work in, and Barry's yeah. helped put the work in, and you've helped me put yeah. it, and Will has. Yeah. And, like the proof you know, is in so the pudding, that, it's always yeah. done you right. So, yeah. like, why would you doubt it? Yeah. Um, so, I wonder if it was that, I'm not sure. But, anyways, he made me give it a name. So, oh, like, really? uh, yeah, so he's like, mm. he's like, give it a name. And I can't remember the name, was. say it was yeah. Bob, right? Yeah. So, it's yeah. like, uh, so we recognise Bob is going to be there in the fight, yeah. um, but Bob isn't going to have an impact on the fight. So yeah. <laughs> Bob yeah. can just sit down to the yeah. side. And he explained it a lot better than I just yeah, did. Yeah, like but separate the, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's it's about accepting that those things are going to be there. Yeah. It's how, like I said before, how not you fearing in, them and interpret. Not, yeah. yeah, and yeah, and um, and how you manage those. It makes you feel like you in control because you can put Bob. Yeah. Why? Yeah. See yeah. you, Bob. Bob's not gonna. Yeah, make yeah. You. Exactly. Fuck off, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah. Right? Um, I, I, I think it's such a crucial component. So important. Yeah. 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 And these are skills that, you know, yeah. you, you just don't unless you're trained. It's very hard to know. Yeah. How to, you know, yeah. uh, deal with these, reduce yeah. anxiety, and also, uh, how to use some of that adrenaline and, yeah. and to your advantage, yeah. you know, because yeah. it can be beneficial for performance Definitely. if you can control exactly. it. And, and you think, like, exactly. from the outside, you don't even think about that aspect. So if you, yeah. if you didn't never compete it, yeah. you're looking and going, why, why are they not doing that? Why, why are they yeah. freezing there? Why yeah. they, yeah. And yeah. They, they really I've don't seen them do so this. I've seen them in the gym yeah. doing really good. Yeah. And they don't yeah. understand yeah. it. They go, yeah. you, you, you haven't got a clue how that person's feeling. Exactly. Yeah. And what the the days up to that has been like yeah. and, and everything yeah. else and it's that, very hard to perform and how you perform in the gym at yeah, first yeah. it takes yeah. a while to get to that to learn, yeah. well spot, anxiety you know? Yeah. Uh, you know really can decrease performance Definitely. a yeah. lot 100% you know that, anxiety is a really good thing but it also can be very overwhelming yeah. as well mm. yeah it's, yeah. it's, yeah. it's uh, maintaining a level yeah. Yeah. Like you don't want to be too aroused or under aroused. Optimal you arousal. Yes, optimal, optimal optimal arousal. arousal. Yes. Everybody's cold. Yeah, we've covered that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, she it talked is. about our last podcast, wasn't it? A little oh, bit really? more. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's cool. like it is the arou control of levels of arousal. Yeah. But uh, I felt like in that podcast, I was just going arousal, arousal. I said, <laughs> I said arousal so much in my life. Oh, it's my like, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, that's amazing, and that yeah. you've had the, um, hit the same chap for two years. Yeah, a couple of years. Mm. Um, yeah, well, got like so he, he would really know you by now and what works does. for you. Yeah. And, and I've actually never met him before. Oh, and face he's, to face. He's How gonna be, um, He's going to be at my fight. Oh, yeah. great! So this is the first oh, time. Oh, that's actually, amazing. Oh, but it's so wow. weird because I don't. Extra pressure. No, no, I actually don't. <laughs> you don't like know him. You ever... just have to listen out yeah. for him, and yeah. you go, I know that voice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh wow, that's yeah. cool. That's not nice that he's making the effort to come and yeah, you know. Definitely. So I think we'll uh, we'll round it up there, I reckon, yeah. because yeah. I'm starting I to think fry. I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to fry. It wasn't. It was cold. No, it was cold. Cold. This was a. I'm just nice and warm. I good don't idea. Even feel hot. I know, but you're always yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> got like a, a woolen jumper on it and another woolen one Have under you? that. Yeah. Exactly. So we'll um, we'll call it a day, uh, yes, a day there. Yes, thank you so um, much. Yeah, no, thank you for having me. So interesting and mm. and uh, you know you don't need luck because you've got the skill. No, you don't thank need luck. You've got everything you need <laughs> to kick butt. In a couple of weeks. I'll say good weeks. luck to the other girl. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think she'll need it. <laughs> thank you. you got it, but um, yeah, it'd be good. So what what day is it? Second of September. Second it? of September. Yep. Rayton Meadows Arena, made for the cage. Cool. Do you reckon um, it's going to be televised, or is um, any of your loved ones going to record it that you can? Oh yeah, possibly, but they they do have a, a live stream on Facebook. Oh I'm pretty right, sure. good. Yeah. yeah, okay. Obviously, yeah. with the time difference, it'll be 
it's yeah. still the top of the morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, get us committed, folk. You know. Yes. Those that don't sleep as well. Well, yeah. You know, know. <laughs> those that don't sleep. Put it on the it. on the Mac one page. Yeah, yeah that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, thank you so cool. much, Lance. Right. Thank you very and much. And we'll see you uh, later. We're yeah. going off some food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've worked up an appetite. Yeah. As usual. Bye bye. See ya.